Hey guys, what's up? Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming here, and we're back with some more LEGO Batman. This is level 18, Green Finger Story. We're going to find an achievement in this level that is pretty much optional, can be done at a later date. And uh, we're going to skip over all those collectibles as this is the story. Now I want to get you guys caught up real quick as I have been having some major issues with my capture devices and I've been working with Elgato, the company who makes it, and we've been trying to fight through this. Uh, unfortunately though, I had a boo-boo on my last recording and the audio was super glitchy that I couldn't, so glitchy I couldn't use it, so I had to reshoot it. So this intro scene here is going to look a little different. The character should be Clayface in the Riddler. Uh, oh, there he is right there, ironically. And we'll go ahead and make our way through the asylum over to the mission select area. Inside here, we're going to go ahead and hop into the truck like usual. Unfortunately, the Riddler does not have the hops needed to get those studs, so we're going to go ahead and just move along. Now, you can see here, level four is already showing, and it's asking me, do I want a replay story? You should just have the story, and I apologize for that, but unfortunately, technology is not in my favor right now. But hey, we're going to check a quick little story out from Poison. Poison Ivy, and then we're going to move into a cutscene, and I'll see you on the other side. Well, we'll I'll give you that play-by-play -play through the level itself. Oh, yeah. And we're off! Here we go! We're gonna go ahead and move to the front left side of your screen. And along this fence line here, we're gonna find a bunch of boxes. Go ahead and smash them down to the ground, and we'll find a bunch of bricks bouncing all around! Uh, that was unexpected, and I apologize. I'll try to keep away from some of them rhyme schemes, as I know not everybody loves them. All right, once we got this vehicle up and running, we're gonna go smash the gate on the far left side and try to make it back to the gate on the far right side. Now, the reason I did this is just because we need to get both characters up on this rooftop up here, and they actually have to go different routes. I mean, not really, but the AI won't follow, so you got to make sure that you do it this way. So, smash the grate, which will give access to the Riddler, which we'll come back to in a minute. First, we got to go ahead and get to the right and take out all these nice, lovely flowers. And once we do, we're going to find some more bouncing bricks left behind that we can build into a push switch, which then will raise this weird, like, I guess it's some sort of like a potted potter on a chain or something like a hanging planter. I'm not exactly sure. Push it all the way, though, until it stops and then keep pushing as it'll bust into pieces and it'll actually trigger this guy up. See, Daisy, look at that. It's going to keep going up and down on its own. We'll switch to Poison Ivy, get up top here, and we'll scale across this nice little handheld. I try to get all fast and sneak by, but I actually missed the bluesy, so I'll return and grab that real quick. You can see the Riddler's trying to follow, but he can't. Now, here's the thing. I smash this, and I can build this up, but he is... Oh, he is following, but he doesn't. He misses the jump. So, rather than waste a bunch of time, I'm going to leave Poison Ivy here, toggle back over to him, because I noticed he wasn't going back there. And it might have had something to do with characters being alive down below trying to, you know, get us, or Kappa's trying to stop us, as I like to say. But we'll go ahead and take the Riddler, go to the far left side. We've got a bunch of handhelds we'll yeet ourselves up to. Careful not to grab that mini kit up top, as it will maybe cause some confusion while we're going through the free play later, but... Uh, as, of course, we will grab all ten of the mini kits, the power bricks, and all those fun things at the end when we return for that free play. Now, this is where Patience comes in. We know that Poison Ivy can get over there all on her own, and you just wait for it. Look at that. She'll go ahead and pop up. Both flip the switch and drop down below, but not before switching to Poison Ivy and grabbing that bluesy. Woo to the hoozy. All right, in the door we go. This is kind of tricky here. You see that there's these floating baskets here. We're going to jump on it and actually press and hold the B button. Uh, that's assuming you're playing on the Xbox Circle if you're on the PlayStation. I don't know what it is on other platforms if there is. PC, probably be something similar. Haha, <laughs> psych, it'll be a keyboard button. Anyways, uh, we'll go ahead and do that again so that the Riddler can get across. So over in the back corner, third time's a charm. We'll go ahead and whoopsie-daisy, look at that, nailed it. First try. Look at that, she did a wall plant too. I was unaware. There's actually some kind of some cool moves that I don't 
think carried over into a lot of the more recent Lego games. Like that that wall hang there, that was kind of an interesting thing. It reminded me of like uh, you know some sort of like uh, Titanfall or Call of Duty wall running scenario there. That was interesting. All right, switch to the Riddler after assembling the old. I, I don't know what these are. It's like a Riddler checkpoint. We got to come up with a better name for that. It's uh. Uh, I guess thou shall pass. <laughs> we'll go ahead and make our way through the door into the next area we go. I'm going to skip over these silver trees, but we'll be back in a hot second for those. Over in this right back corner, there are a ton of plants, ferns and bushes and trees. Take them all down to the ground. And then we're going to actually go to the, I guess it's sort of the middle left corner here with the Riddler. And we're going to use our mind control to go ahead and take control of this guy in the cell. Flip that switch. That's weird that he's just kind of chilling there watching that switch. <laughs> a little too easy if you ask me. Easy. All right, we'll go ahead and build up these bricks. Now, you have to smash all of them and build them in the right order. So if you start in the top left, you're not going to get any bouncing bricks until they're all revealed. And then you got to build them in a certain order. So it's kind of like lower left, middle right, back left back right. I mean, maybe not the greatest explanation, but that's kind of how it is. And look at that, the back, back right now. All right, so we'll build them up, and this is actually interesting. Once you complete this, now keep in mind, I played this level and had the glitchy audio and had to replay it, so it actually took me two attempts to get through here, but uh, if you actually get your pa-chomp, pa-chomp, pa -chomp, pa -chomp, chomp on, <laughs> anybody know what that's from? Uh, you can actually take out 15 of these bad guys, including your own character, your partner, so your AI. Uh, you get this achievement called Kiss from a Rose. So again, you can sit there and chomp all the bad guys. I do believe they continuously come at you. Come at me, bro. I'll eat you, though. And once you do that, uh, you can go ahead and move on. Of course, you can do this achievement later if you don't want to waste any time. But like I said, there's plenty of them here. It's almost too easy to not do it. But we want to smash into this silver wall here. But for some reason, it wouldn't work. And then I got, like, button happy and messed it all up. So uh, we officially make it through. Look at that. The bad guy followed us, too. We'll go ahead and smash the boxes. Build it up into a... Wait. Stop looking at me, Swan. Anybody remember that movie? That's a classic. If you haven't seen that and you don't know that line, we can't be friends. Nah, I'm just kidding. I'll make an exception. All right, uh, it's Billy Madison, just in case you're wondering. Uh, we'll go ahead and drive this swan through here. There's lots of studs and ways you can go ahead. You can blow yourself up a bunch, too, if you're into that. But uh, me, personally, I'm just going to get to the end. Make sure I have Riddler, because I'm going to need to take control of one of these bad guys. And got two tasks that need to be done did. First one is smash and stand. The second one is smash and build, then flip. So uh, we'll go ahead and build the switch, flip it, and Booyaka Shao. That should give us a nice free passage through here. Unfortunately, I can't take out the bad guy with the bad guy. So I tried. I did try. You saw him. We'll take them both out, though, and move on into the next room, where we're going to switch to Poison Ivy to get through this toxic sludge area. And we got a couple of bad guys over here. Looks like some prisoners. When I first walked into the room, when I very first was playing my scouting run, I thought that was Stan Lee. But then I like thought about it. I'm like, wait a minute, this is DC. Why would Stan Lee be in DC? Like, then I thought, well, is it Omar? And then I realized, wait a minute, he's in an orange jumpsuit. That's a bad guy. That's not okay. All right, now we can go ahead and drive Riddler across because we've got this nice little safe passage. Because he can't go in that toxic sludge. And if you missed it, I smashed a bunch of boxes and completed a John Deere tractor. I don't know what it was with the early Lego games and their infatuation with the, with John Deere. It must have been, like, a bunch of, bunch of kids. <laughs> I don't know what it was. It's weird, weird right? It's weird, because it's in, like, Star Wars. Uh, it's a couple of times in Star Wars. I mean, it's just it's a weird thing. All right, in this next area, we're going to need Poison Ivy to go ahead and step on two switches and flip a lever so that we can have our buddy follow us through. As we continue all the way to the bottom, we find a couple of bad guys trying to uh, prevent us from moving forward. We'll take them down and smash the boxes right behind them, which is going to give us some more buildable bricks. We basically need to build an elevator here. We're going to need to use two of these Poison Ivy baskets. Got to push some little daisies, watch them grow up. That's right, we got to make them flowers get all big and strong. That's right. A little miracle grow. I don't know. I don't know where it's coming from, but she's definitely feeding them. We'll go ahead and double jump on both tops of these. It's kind of a tricky jump, but I nailed it. And uh, up top here, we'll smash and build the front piece. I guess safety first, huh? We don't want to take a high-rise elevator without some sort of protection. So uh, up we go. 
Up top, we're going to go ahead and advance into the next room, which is the final room. You guys might remember this. We had a boss battle here. We're going to go ahead and trigger all three of these points. Uh, first one's easy. Just stand on the little red switch there. Second one, we're going to switch to the Riddler and make it over to the far left side. We're going to take out the Kappa's trying to stop us. And then we're going to use that mind control one more time to go ahead and push this statue down the checkerboard path. And now we can take him out and build up what appears to be some sort of a generator or a power supply of sorts. We'll go ahead and jump back up on the left switch this time. You'll see the power surge go through once it starts to go. You know you're G-U-D, or good. That's an improper spelling, I'm aware of that. But that's how we spell it around here. Get off me. Because uh, <laughs> we be getting good. Uh, on the right-hand side, we're going to switch to Poison Ivy. And in this case, we're going to continue to get shot right in the face. I'm not too thrilled about that, but uh, we get through it. We get by. We get by. All right, this was a little tricky. you got to have the timing right on the jumps. And I was apparently double jumping, and that did not work. So single jumps... You go ahead and pump, 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 pump it up. The power is connected. Jump on this last red switch. And guess what? Cutscene, take us away. Are you? Love me, love me, say that you... Oh, hey, what's up, guys? Uh, guess what? Level co 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 complete free play unlock, lock, lock, lock. We didn't get that screen. As I mentioned before, I had an audio glitch and had to replay the level. So, again, I apologize. I'm working through it. I got another recorder here. I'm doing lots of testing. I hope to have this resolved. But meanwhile, we're going to keep trying to pump out these videos on our Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday schedule. So, uh, hey... Go ahead and click that like button down below if you liked what you saw or find this video useful. Keep in mind that the free play and all that fun stuff will be here soon. But as always, until next time.